Hello hopefuls, all right, it's time to compare my personalities. Sam and Katie Rebecca, I've not watched your videos yet. Katie Rebecca, I don't even know if you've uploaded one yet. I'm sorry, as always, I'm filming this on a Friday. We're gonna get to a point where I'm actually, you know, filming on Sundays and will have watched your videos, but that's not now. All right, so I mentioned in last week's video that I had some screenshots on my phone that I didn't know when it was from, but I thought it was from the last time I did the personality quiz. And it turns out that they are from the 7th of July, 2021. So a year and a half ago. And I don't know, I honestly don't know if that's like, the most recent one but we'll look at that after i will slot in pictures probably on this side so last time i was infj t and i think usually i'm an infj dash a but having said that i'm now actually gonna go on to oh where am i gonna find it i know i did a personality quiz in 2020 so a year before that one and i'll just check the video of that one. Oh no, that's interesting. In the one in 2020, I was also INFJ-T. That's interesting to me that I didn't know that, but it's also interesting to me that I've always been INFJ, I think, since I started taking the quiz. Anyway, in that one, let me see if I can get the comparisons up. So in that one, one is INFJ-T, one is INFJ-A, but they are both the advocate. Now, as you can already see on the one from 2021, I was 79% introverted then. Feel like this time it was 83, I think, I think. 80, 80%. 80 so we've gone up 1% in introversion. That's interesting. I'm trying to think 2021. It's interesting to compare sort of what I was doing in my life as well. So in 2021, I had just finished a very exciting chapter in my life. And now I've just finished another exciting chapter in my life where I was working abroad for, you know, a year. And both were quite social. So it's interesting that even with that, it hasn't actually affected how introverted I am. All right. Ooh, okay. My intuitiveness has gone up by 4%. My feeling, oh wow, my feeling has gone down in 10%. And actually, I'm not surprised about that. I've mentioned a couple of times on my own channel that I feel like I have changed not necessarily for the better in this last year. I think I'm now getting back to where I was, but still. And I wonder if this is like a part of that. Anyway, oh wow, I am still 86% judging. That hasn't changed at all. That's very impressive. Ooh, right, this is the A or the T, and it's literally just flipped over. It was 47% assertive and 53% turbulent, and now it's 53% assertive and 47% turbulent. And I did mention in last week's video that I do feel like this one's very accurate because I do feel like I'm very in the middle of both. Interesting. And then I want to have a look at the last Dear Hopefuls video I did where we looked at this. I have no idea how long ago that was. The first one I can see is 2019 surely not that's that's the that's the one i can find so that's the one we're gonna look at interesting where am i when i'm filming this i think i was in holland no yeah oh it's a speaking one i don't have the pictures i don't want that we will go back to the one i did during covid and see because that's a pretty big milestone as well oh okay really interesting during covid my introvertedness went up it was 85 percent I was 71% intuitive, I think. Okay, so that went down. That's now gone up. 74% feeling. Oh, whoa. That's changed a lot. So during COVID, I was 20% more feeling than I am now. Judging was 75%. That's now gone up to 86%. And I was 44% assertive and 56% turbulent. And obviously that's switched now. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, that's my comparison for this week's video. I really want to watch Sam's now. I'm very curious. And Katie, Rebecca, hopefully you can upload yours soon as well. And I'll see you all next week. And I really do think I'll be here next week. But we shall see. Because a lot is happening this week. All good things. All right. Bye.